Righto, so we're on week 298 of Lit Friday and this lesson is kinda a rock and rolly one once again. So you've got sixths added into it, all good fun. The backing track, which should be at the end of this video, is not because there is some kind of copyright thing going on with it, which really, I don't know why, because I wrote it and it's a 12 bar blues. How can you copyright a 12 bar blues? Who knows, someone out there thinks they can. Anyway, um, so that is now available on my website for streaming, which is all free. You can go onto that, dansguitar.com, and just find that on the songs and solos, I think it is. Um, and it's all it's at the bottom of the page anyway, so you'll find it there to stream if you want to play along with the jam track that I'm playing along with on this video. Nice, right, enough of that. Social media. Subscribe if you can. If you like this channel, please do hit that bell button and that's it. We'll see you that lick. So the lick itself, as I said a minute ago, is all based around those sixths, kind of the country, rocky, bluesy, southern, fried type area of uh, the pentatonic plane. Um, so you're adding in some real nice or natural minory sixths in there and just bringing in some flavour and fun. The lick itself has got lots of energy behind it, so um, you can put it into your plane quite easily, I think, especially that double stop. Uh, blues curl bend um, which is is really good fun to put in they sound great when you get those right and you hook them in the right way attack them really nicely then they sound absolutely amazing over most styles of music so bear that in mind and obviously with these licks you can take out little fragments of them just to put into your playing if you don't enjoy the whole lick <laughs> Nice, huh? Right, so the tab is on my website, dansguitar.com, as well as that jamming track, as I mentioned also. And uh, you can also come along, visit me on patreon.com forward slash dance page for more lessons, loads of jamming tracks on there now. Um, and yeah, just come and come check out the tier system, support the channel just on that lowest tier. That's absolutely amazing if you do. Thanks to everyone so far that supported this channel. And yeah, that's it. Not going to ramble on too much. Let's get on with the breakdown what a lovely fun riff right hey hey how about that so we've got double stop on that fifth fret second and third strings and you can have to get that kind of car horn if you like um, blues curl on both strings to make this work really well and it's got that 1950s sort of rock and rolly element to it so who wouldn't want to do that but we have so you actually bend in that string ever so slightly, or both strings ever so slightly, before you come away from those two, well not come away, before you strike it again in other words. Going to that 7th fret on the D string, so two of those. Next one is on the offbeat, so you've got basically one, two, three, four and. Okay. So that's your first little section of that riff. Nice and easy, not, not anything too demanding from that at all. Um, then you've got a nice little sixth rung coming down. So and again, nothing too demanding, but it's getting the uh, sort of the, the flavor of it right. So I use hybrid picking um, for this, obviously, because that's the sort of thing that I do. So. So making the top one of those two strings pop every time. And I'm slightly muting the thicker of the two strings that you play with each one. So the first little block is that there. So you're using a B note and a G note. And you're making the G pop and the B is palm muted. So and then you go to the next one, note the fingers I'm using as well, so I was using finger one and two, and then I'm going straight in with finger two and three, um, mainly to keep that second finger on the same string, so there's less changing. Then you've got the A note and the F sharp, 
So slightly palm muted on that note on the uh, A, and then you're going to pop that um, F sharp note. You can do it with the plectrum, but it's just more movement with your right hand then. So I tend to use that hybrid thing where I'm using the middle finger for the thinner of the strings. Next one, you've got a G note and an E. Same thing applies, same fingers as the A and the F sharp. Then we've got F sharp, this time on the thicker of the strings using fingers one and two. Um, and to a D note. So you got. Then you're on to another set of strings. The A string, seventh fret, which is the E note. And then you've got the C on the th third string, fifth fret. Then you've got D. So you're using fingers one and three for that, sorry, forgot to mention. Then finger one, uh, two, sorry, on the fifth fret of the fifth string for a D note and then you've got the finishing part of the lick which is just a bend up or a pull down if you like of the fourth fret third string semitone so you're reaching the same pitch as the fifth fret letting it back down and then that fifth fret or the G note on the uh, fourth string just to let it ring out if you want to or go back into that lick so there we go that is the lick so I'll play it slowly for you now so here we go it goes one two three four and Is it at the end again? Whee! So no jamming track at the end of this video this week. That's because obviously the copyright thing we're going on with the 12 bar blues. Once again, how can you copyright a 12 bar blues? I don't know. Because the track which is on my website is a track which I wrote and it's my track. There you go. No one else wrote it, it was me. It's just I'm using a 12 bar blues with a walking bass line. How can you copyright? Anyway, so that track is available on the website. The link is below in that description if you want to find that. So stansguitar.com for those that are interested and you look under songs and solos, I think it is. Um, tab also on the website. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. There are so many things you can learn from this channel. And uh, yeah, just visit me on Patreon for more lessons, jamming tracks and all that sort of stuff. And that is about it. So I will bid you all farewell and see you next week for week 299. Laters.